What's up, guys? Jimmy talking to the camera. What is this? What is this, 2012? What, what, what am I, what am I gonna go start making some frat vids? What is this, a make a video about it? No, it's none of those things. The Olympics are on, there's a lot to talk about. Because it's that time of the year again. It's that time when all the countries come together and play those sports that we only care about for two weeks every four years. And when I say care, I mean we fucking care. I haven't seen half of these sports on television ever. But when they come on in the Olympics, it's fucking game time. Synchronized diving? Set the DVR. Women's gymnastics? Wouldn't miss that shit for the world. Beach volleyball? Who are we playing? Brazil? Against Larissa Franca? Clear my schedule. Tell my sister I can't make the wedding. I've never seen swimming on television ever. Apparently there's swimming world championships. I've never seen that shit. Swimming comes on during the Olympics? Biggest deal ever. I know names of swimmers. Michael Phelps. Lochte. Ledecky, Troy, Troy. There's no Troys. I feel like there's gotta be swimmers named Troy. Why are we so good at swimming? Why are we so good at everything? Does America just care more than everyone else? Or is it just because of the diversity thing? Is it because we have the white guys for volleyball and swimming, the black guys for track and basketball, the Asian guys for ping pong. We have Kenyans for long distance running, for God's sakes. I mean, that's not fair. The Kenyans can't put together a rowing team of white guys. Meanwhile, Mexico has some dude who got cut from their soccer team guarding Carmelo Anthony. No wonder everyone hates us. Watch any event and tell me who the biggest douchebag is in the event. Americans, every sport. Everyone's coming in. Thanks guys, thanks for having us. Americans just come in like, we're here. What the fuck is up? Other countries are just looking at us like, guys, chill the fuck out. I mean, look at our gymnastics team. Look at these guys. Look at how bro these guys are. Everything they're saying just looks like, oh yeah, bro, you just flipped the fuck out of that flip, bro. Yo, is that a double? Yo, did you go for a double there, bro? Yo, coach, you see that? Oh, fuck yeah, I saw that. That was fucking sick. Sick. USA, oh, is that Japan? Fuck you, Japan, bro. What's up, bro? Fuck you. I'm just imagining our four gymnasts just at the Olympic parties later, standing there, still in their gymnastics outfits, in the corner, just all standing there, sipping beers. What? Oh, yeah, we're the gymnastics squad. Yo, Durant, Durant. What's up, bro? We're the gymnasts. Durant's like, yeah, I know, we all saw you cartwheel in here. Actually, that was a back handspring, so fuck yeah, dude. That was Durant, just talk to him. I don't remember gymnastics being this crazy. I don't know what the fuck they started eating in the last four years. Like, what What the fuck? How are, you, how are your arms? How's your shoulder doing? That can't feel good. That look, nothing about that doesn't look painful. And fuck these judges for being so critical. They're sitting there just like, yeah, I mean, that was a super sick quadruple backflip McTwist, but you see you stepped a little bit in the green. So I'm sorry, but everything you've been working for your entire life just went out the window. See you in four years, maybe. Probably not though. Also, what the fuck is this? Why is this still an event? You're telling me we can't come up with anything better than, look, like, what, what's going on here? What is this? Is this, is this good? How do you judge this? Like, why do we still have guys sprinting to jump off of a little box spring and bounce off one tiny stand? We can't come up with anything cooler than that? They came up with this shit before there was electricity. Watch American Ninja Warrior. Take a page out of their book. You fall and you land in a water pit with snakes. Gymnastics needs more snakes. More snakes. More flames, more spikes, more lava. Oh, and thank God Ryan Seacrest is our host. I was worried he wasn't getting work. And I was also worried that America didn't already look enough like we're trying to fuck everyone's girlfriends. Like, look at our swim team. Now look at your girlfriend. Is she in the room? If she's not, it's because she's probably fucking one of these guys. These guys are the reason I don't have a girlfriend. Also, there's other reasons. So speaking of banging everyone at the Olympics, let's talk about the USA men's basketball team. Now, apparently, the other day, they got caught going to a brothel that they thought was a spa. So they definitely thought it was a brothel, but let's just give them the benefit of the doubt for a second and say they thought they were going to a spa. They were trying to go to a spa. It's the fucking Olympics. Everyone here has been training their entire lives for these two weeks. Everyone is squeezing in the last minutes of practice that they can in. Meanwhile, our squad is out there getting cranked by Brazilian hookers. Hey, yo, Draymond, what time's the game? Uh, like an hour. I mean, if we leave now. So here's a good question. Would you rather train every day for your entire life to one day get that one moment, that one opportunity for everything you've ever wanted and win that gold medal in rowing. Or you just don't and don't win a gold medal. You can row if you want to, don't have to. Because what happens after that medal? It's not like you instantly become rich. You go to apply for a job at, you know, 
the Toyota car dealership, all your resume says is gold medal winner. They're like, dude, that's great, but how are your skills in Microsoft Excel? Because this doesn't really help us move cars. Everyone's always like, no, they get sponsorships. They make their money from sponsors. No. Maybe if you're Michael Phelps and all the other people who win 30 fucking gold medals, but there's no way the libero for the men's volleyball team is making the cover of a fucking Wheaties box. There's no way the marketing guy for Cliff Bar is hitting up the third leg of our women's medley team and saying, that's the face of our company. There's no way Red Bull is hitting up the men's gymnast who didn't place and saying, hey man, Loved your effort. Here's a huge contract to make up for the last 20 years of your life that you spent only doing gymnastics. No, the only person who's making real money off this whole thing, Ryan Seacrest. And you know what he's doing with it? Banging your girlfriend with the swim team.